Prime Minister Honorable Dr. Terence Drew says he's optimistic that the outlook and action plan to apprehend the violence in the Caribbean will move to solutions that will positively impact the public. At a regional symposium on crime, as a public health issue on, in Trinidad and Tobago on Monday, the Prime Minister outlined the public health recommendations and expressed his optimism. At the outset, it is clear that much work has been done to document the risk factors, the characteristics of victims and perpetrators, and the impacts on the individual, families, country, and region. Solutions have also come to the fore, so there is reason for me to be very optimistic. I regard this region, regional symposium, therefore, as a coalition of the willing. Notwithstanding the delays because of a pandemic, there's a window of opportunity to move the needle now to solutions. Our people must see and must feel solutions now. He spoke about enabling incentives for persons to turn away from crime, specifically targeting the most at-risk groups, such as gang members. He proposed using culturally relevant programs and social influencers. This sentiment was earlier shared by Prime Minister of Grenada, Dickon Mitchell, who said that youth are spoken to and not involved in discussions, as many heads tell them what is best for them instead of hearing from and listening to them. Prime Minister Drew emphasized political will to make the change needed as research and evidence is already present. The conclusion that violence prevention funding is smart money is accepted and to my mind a political imperative. We need to do it. Therefore, gathering research evidence on violence is not the rate limiting step of the Caribbean action of finding the Caribbean solution. The research and evidence is not the issue. We have it. We heard it. The issue is political will. Will we do it? The regional symposium continues on Tuesday.